know I do apologize for not having a video um, uploaded in a couple of weeks but I do have an exciting vlog for you all um, me and my honey just came back recently from Vegas and I was unable to like do an actual sit down video but like I said I do have a vlog it just needs to be edited and I will get that up for you all um as you all know I had a birthday it is April 2nd 2nd right yeah it's April 2nd y'all my birthday was February 17th and I'm still shopping I know don't judge me okay um but there's an excuse for that I didn't go on an official no buy however i did go on uh i'm not buying anything until i get the vegas type deal you know i still bought stuff but once again don't judge me um so i did want to show you a few things that i got um some of these things i got for my birthday and some of these things i randomly just picked up um I will be showing you what I got in the last two items. I will actually be doing swatches and first impressions of these items. So let me just jump right into it. Um, I've been hearing a lot about um, their, I'm talking about there, like y'all know what I'm talking about. Of course, the first place is Sephora. I've been hearing a lot about their concealer, like the Sephora brand of concealer. And I picked up the bright future it's called the gel serum concealer i got it in the number 14 which is also the color toffee and it looks like this here um as y'all can see i am trying something different with my lighting so we shall see i did buy this actually purposely um as a lighter color because i want to use it for when i am highlighting so like i said number 14 i'm not going to do swatches because i have a lot of videos to get out um i will be coming back and actually doing a tutorial and a review so that's why i'm not going to swatch it as of now because i still haven't even opened it but i did want to get that out there the next thing i picked up i picked this up some time ago um when i was actually on vacation in virginia and i don't ever think that i I don't think that I showed it to you all. This is the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in the color Electra Pink Luster. I don't know if luster, I think it's saying that it's luster finish. Um, and I got it on sale actually for $7.99. I rarely get things that are on sale. I rarely see things on sale at Sephora. But here is the color. Like when I say this color is super freaking bright but of course spring and summer is coming up it's coming off on the camera it looks purple but it's not purple it's like really super pink like really pink so electra pink like electric hot pink that's what it looks like to me um and like i said i paid 7.99 for this and I also finally got my hands on the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Bow and Arrow. I have lately, recently been really like obsessed with neutral color lips, as you can see. Um, the lipstick that I have on now is I mixed this MAC vamplify lip gloss in the color hyper fabulous and when i put it on it's literally the same color as my lips but this is what it looks like and then on top of that i used um it's a color pop it came in one of those small the the small um matte collection that they had during like Christmas time and this is Times Square I absolutely love this color I showed it to y'all in a um, haul not too long ago but this is what bow and arrow looks like I'm sure y'all know what bow and arrow looks like it's supposed to be like brown girl friendly like you can just put it on and go and I 
when I tell y'all I searched like I went to probably about six different Sephora's and they were like oh we don't have it but then the lady was like well we can order it for you free of charge why didn't nobody else tell me that but whatever so shout out to the associate at Sephora North Point Mall because if not I probably would have still been looking for it all right so the last two things that I got um one was a gift from a friend um hey Keela and the other one technically I guess it was a gift but I got it with a gift card so it was a gift um and the first one I'll show you and this is what she put it in and it just says no peeking in my favorite color pink and the crazy thing about this particular gift is I never told her that I wanted this. She just was like, well, I know she likes makeup, so I'm just going to get her something I think that she would like. And it's actually something that I wanted, which is the Tartlet Tees Tart Palette. And it is a six shadow palette. Great for traveling. Um, so let me open it. I did open it. I never swatched it because I ain't even going to tell y'all why. Y'all know. If y'all watch my channel, you know. Well, if they'll let me get into it, I don't want to tear the package in. All right. So here is what the palette looks like. Such a cute little pack palette packaging. I hope y'all can see and the light isn't like too bright. So of course it has a big old mirror on it. I don't want to blind y'all, but here is the palette. And you have Whisper and Wink. So this is Whisper. Well, hold on. <laughs> All right, so this is Whisper. And this is Wink. Then you have First Kiss here. Am I in the right place? No. First Kiss. And then at the bottom is Crush. It's actually the opposite way, but you get the picture. And then you have BFF here, and then Heartbreaker. So I am going to swatch these. The first two will be Whisper and Wink. So this is Whisper, and this is Wink. Uh, I like that. Mm -mm, hold on. I don't like that for a minute. Okay, so this is Whisper and Wink. And the second row is First Kiss and Crush. Y'all, I didn't wipe tart. You know how they have tart like on the actual shadows? I didn't wipe it all off now. That's all right. All right, so this one is Crush. This one is Crush. And this one is First Kiss. So that's what those look like. And last but not least, I should have had these makeup wipes ready. But of course, like any other YouTuber, I wasn't prepared. All right. So let me get these off. All right, so the last row is going to be Heartbreaker, ooh, Heartbreaker and BFF. So the brown one is Heartbreaker and the burgundy looking color is BFF. And you really can't see Heartbreaker because it looked like it just blended right in with my skin, but they're pretty, they're gorgeous. So that's BFF and Heartbreaker. Now my daggone palette looked like I didn't use the hell out of it and I ain't even used it yet. That's all right, I do that for y'all. So I will be coming back with a um, review of this particular palette. I will be using this and I may do like a get ready with me. So like I said, this was a birthday gift from my friend Keela. 
So thank you, girl. I appreciate that. All right. So. Mm. Okay, then. So the next one I got is the Tartlet. Um, the Tart Tartlet in Bloom palette. And this is the packaging. This I don't have the original, um, the the first tartlet palette. Um, I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me for some reason. Of course, it comes with this um, insert to show you different looks that you can come up with. I never use them because when I do my makeup, like I literally just sit down and whatever becomes of that becomes of it. Um, so the outside of the packaging looks just like the box, of course. And let's commence to this good old swatching. All right, so of course it has a humongous mirror, so I don't want to blind y'all. This is what the palette looks like on the back. I literally can see myself so I guess it's another built-in mirror I don't know if that was done purposely or not this palette y'all 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 do y'all see this like if you are a neutral girl like me like for some reason lately I have really been into neutral eyeshadows so much so that when we were in Vegas my honey was like are you ever gonna like put color on your eyes like what's going on everything is brown and gold and the crazy thing is she's colorblind well excuse me color deficient is that the right word mm -hmm. color deficient mm -hmm. she's color deficient so she can only see bright colors so i guess that's why she want me to put bright ass colors on my I eyes neutral too much. oh i do too much neutral so I popped a pop of uh, blue on my eyes today. <laughs> All right, so here is the palette and let's get to swatching. I'm gonna do the swatches straight down so it's going to go, well, I'm gonna start on this side first. So I'm gonna go down so it'll be three at a time. So the first row is Charmer, Flower Child, and Funny Girl. I don't know about this charmer. This charmer seems real light and chalky. All right, so we have charmer, flower child, and funny girl. And here are those swatches. All right, and I'm gonna try to make this quick because I don't want to make this video super, super long. All right, so the next one that I have is going to be Jet Setter, Smarty Pants, and Sweetheart. I have to get another wipe out because, yeah. All right, so we have Jet Setter, Smarty Pants, Sweetheart. So this it. Hold on. This smells like chocolate. Like it smells like my chocolate palette. I don't. That's weird. All right. So this is Jet Setter, Smarty Pants, and Sweetheart. I hope that y'all can see these. Um, yeah. All right, so that is those swatches. All right, so the next one is Rocker, Firecracker, and Rebel. Firecracker looks like me and them gonna be real real good friends because this is beautiful all right so hopefully it swatches like i hope it will i 
some of my shirt. All right, so we have Rocker, Firecracker, Rebel, and here is, oh, y'all, yeah. let me tell you something. Firecracker, mm -hmm. we gonna be good friends. Babe gonna be tired of Firecracker, baby, because Firecracker might be on my eyes every day, every day, every day. Y'all, look at that. This is Firecracker. I don't know if it comes across on this camera correctly, but baby, let me tell you something. That is a gorgeous color. The other ones are gorgeous too, but I have a thing about shimmer and like gold for some reason on my skin complexion. Um, Rebel looks like it would be a good crease color or a good like blending color. And then um, Rocker looks like it'll be a good, if you like put something on top, it looks like it'll make the color pop even more. But that firecracker, baby. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So the last one, I'm sorry, y'all, OCD. <laughs> I got eyeshadow on my table. All right. So the last one is going to be Smoke Show. Ooh. Activist and leader. All right, so smoke show, activist, and leader. And here are those swatches. Oh, those are gorgeous too. All right, so that is what those swatches look like. Um, activist kind of, activist and smoke show kind of skipped a little bit. I don't know if it's because of the pressure from my finger or not, but I will once again be coming back with a demo slash um, review. Um, but right now, my first impressions is, of course, it's very gorgeous. This is actually my first, these are my first Tarte um, palette makeup. Um, wise, the only thing that I've ever gotten outside of this, I do have more Tarte now because I bought some other things, but the only thing that I had that was Tarte before was their lip scrub, their mint lip scrub, and that is amazing. Um, so these are the first, um, eyeshadow palettes that I have from Tarte, um, and the swatches are gorgeous, so of course I'm sure with a great base and a great, you know, primer that it would definitely pop. Um, I will be coming back, like I said, with a actual, uh, with an actual review. So once I do that, I will definitely let you guys know how I feel. That was my Sephora haul slash first impressions of my Tarte products. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.